steak and prawn ramen. First things first, season up your fillet steaks. Loads of salt, loads of pepper. Then we're gonna marinate them up with a bit of white miso, some sesame oil, and a little drizzle of mirin. Mix all that up so it turns into a nice bit of a smooth paste. Then we're gonna get a container and we're gonna put this lovely marinade all over the back of the steak. Put that in the container, marinade down, more marinade on top of the steak, put the second take on top of the first steak, and more marinade on the top. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's worth doing. Next, the broth. We're gonna start with the garlic, easiest way. Take the bottom off, give the garlic a little bash, skin peel straight off, easy as that. Whoever said peeling garlic was a tough one was lying to you. Do that with all the garlic, get it chopped up nice and fine, put it in a container. Next one is the ginger. You can grate this, but I prefer to cut this down into little sticks. Same again, into a little container with the garlic. We are gonna need it. Next thing we're gonna cut up is some chilies. Take the tops off, cut them down the middle, slice them up nicely. Separate container to the garlic and the ginger. In a pot, get some toasted sesame oil nice and hot, throw in the ginger and the garlic. Cook it down for a little bit, then we're gonna throw in some white miso paste. This is beautiful stuff, put as much as you like in. Cook that down, mix it around a nice little bit, and then, once you've got a nice little bit of a paste starting to form, we're gonna throw in our chilies. Once the chilies have cooked down a little bit, we're gonna throw in some chicken stock, a good couple of liters, bring that to the boil, cover it up. Next, the accompanying vegetables. Slice them up into julienne style, take some king prawns, stick them on some chopsticks. You'll find out why in just a couple of seconds. Check the broth's nice and boiling, give it a little stir to make sure it's not sticking. Into that, throw your chopsticks with your king prawns. Leave them in there for about three or four minutes, pull them out, beautifully poached. Bring the prawns over, put them with your veg and some noodles. Now we're gonna pass the broth to get rid of all of the ginger, chili and the garlic. It was just sacrificial, but it leaves you with a beautiful smooth broth. Now, cooking the steaks. Hot sesame oil, throw your steaks in. Watch them sizzle. You're only gonna sear them, so you only wanna do literally 30 or 40 seconds on either side. I like to throw a little bit of soy sauce in there as well, just to give it a little bit of saltiness. Let them rest, you gotta let them rest, and take them over to the board and slice them. I like to do it at an angle, no other reason, just the fact that it looks fancy when you're plating it up. Take the steaks over to the board and begin your plate up. Once you've got everything looking nice and pretty, pour the broth over the top of absolutely everything. Garnish it with some sliced chilies, coriander, and a half cup boiled egg. Then all that's left to do is sit down, have a beer, and munch. <laughs>